In this video, I would like to talk about the inverse T distribution command on a TI-84 graphing calculator. So when you use, when do you use uh, the inverse T distribution? If the problem gives you a probability and then asking you to find the corresponding T value, most of the time, the problem will put it in a, like finding a percentile style. So whenever you are dealing with T distribution, the problem is asking for percentile that must be an inverse t problem. So where do you find the inverse t command? You go to second, and then you go to worst, and then you find inverse t. So there is a bad news for TI-83 users. If your calculator is TI-83+, plus, there is no such command. You don't have inverse t, you can go check it out. If you are using a TI-83+, plus, go to second worst inverse t, that this command is right under inverse norm. So in TI-83, there is no such command. But don't panic, in the next, I will make another video to tell you how to solve this problem. Okay, so uh, let's focus on the screen. So the first half of the screenshot, you go to second verse, right under the inverse norm, you have inverse T, and then you have to, when you select inverse T, they give you a menu, right? So you, uh, you see that they ask you for an area, and they, they ask you for a degree of freedom. So once you click place, they will paste the command to the home page, and then you press enter again, they will give you the corresponding T value. For the older calculator, if you select inverse T, they will just put the entire inverse T command on the home screen. So in those type of calculator, you have to memorize this calculator command. So for the new one, you, they walk you through this. The old one, you have to memorize the command. So the command is you input the area and the degree of freedom. And one more thing that I have to remind you, just like the inverse norm, what the area that you put in there, they assume that the area is on the left side, all right? They assume it's on the left side. So is that a left, is that a negative T or positive T? You have to draw a picture and then make your own decision. All right, so uh, let's use a few example to, to, to learn this command. So the first one that I would like to do is I would like to cut 20% on the left tail and then ask you to find the corresponding T value. So this is 20% and then N is equals to 10. So how do you find the T? So the T is you do inverse T and then you input the 20% and then you input 10 minus one, right? So on my calculator on the left hand side, I go to second and then verse second in the calculator that I am using the second that is not too responsive. Second verse, inverse T, so right under inverse norm, you have inverse T, and then I select that, and then I input the area, and then comma, and then 10 minus 1. So that gives you the T. So the T is negative 0 0.883. So for the T, I always use uh, three decimal places for the probability I use four. Okay, let's do one more. The next one that I would like to do is uh, on the Let's cut up area on the right hand side. So this time I would like to cut 35% on the right. So we have zero in the middle, 35 on the right, and then this is a T. So what is the T equals to? So the T is inverse T, and then you input 35%, and then uh, let me give you a sample size, 15. 15 minus one. So T is equals to second verse inverse T, and then C 0 0.35 comma 15 minus 1 so that is equals to negative 0 0.393 is the t that we want the answer is no we have a t on the right hand side this is a left t so the one on the right is positive 0 0.93 so that is a case where the area is on the right what about the area in the middle so let's say a middle 50 percent So we have 50% right in the middle, and then I have a T1, and then I have a T2. So using this 50% is not enough. So other than this 50%, I still have 50% left, right? Half on the left, half on the right. So this is a 25% on the left, and then 25% on the right. So the sum, the total area under the T curve is 100%. So this one, the T1, that will be an inverse T, 
you input the 25% and then the sample size, let me give you a sample size, 30, and then 30 minus 1. So T1 is second was inverse T, 0 0.25 comma 30 minus 1. So that is negative 0 0.683 and then T2 is positive 0 0.683. All right, so that is a brief discussion of how to use inverse T. I hope that clear all of your confusion. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. So that is the end of this video. As always, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the video for me. Appreciate your help. In the, I will see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.